a little bit cranky this morning. I never have this issue, but last night, for some reason, I could not sleep. It is now 10 a.m., and I'm just getting headed out to the tackle shop. Um, I'm gonna go get some live minnows. By the way, welcome back to my channel. I got my coffee, Dunkin' Donuts. What's new? And oh, I also have a new rod that I got a couple months ago that I want to get some line put on. I'm wearing low rev merch. This is my master baiter collection. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys are interested. I gotta go. I need coffee and minners. See you soon. This is me with no sleep. I want to tell you how many of those I've bought in my life. Of course, I'm old as dirt. <laughs> I just left the tackle shop. I got all rigged up. I got some new line on my rod and I got my bubbler going back there and my little bait tank. So I got some, so I think I got like two dozen minnows and I got some split shot weights, a weighted bobber and little um, panfish hooks. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna head to the refuge now, I think. The sun's coming out. All right, you guys, so I have made it back here to the refuge. I have a beautiful cemetery behind me here and a pretty major roadway right here. But um, besides that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna get my stuff all rigged up and I'm sorry in advance if you can't really hear me over this bubbler. I got my minnows in here and also when a car drives by, it gets pretty loud. So I'll try to talk around that, but so this is gonna be my first time using this rod. It is a pin passion and it has a pin passion matching reel and it's got pink, it's got pink accents to match. So I'm really excited. I've got six pound, or no, sorry, eight pound test line on here. And I'll show you guys what else I'm gonna rig up. It's all in the wrist. hoping that the bite is going to be good considering this warm weather we've been having. Alright, so I don't think I've ever used one of these exact bobbers before, but I'll, obviously I would assume that the weight goes so there's a weight on there. I would assume that the weight goes at the bottom. So let's see if we can figure this out. I normally, ow. I normally don't fish with bobbers or live bait, but today is a very special day. I guess what I'm gonna do is just kinda hook the line on there like that. And that'll leave me with enough. And then it seems like you should just be able to Oh, okay, I see. So you just push. You just push. Oh, there are a lot of bears back here. And this is called the Alligator Wildlife River Refuge Area. So I've personally never seen any alligators, but I have seen bear. Anyways, so this was super easy to put on. You just kind of clasp the line inside the hooks and I got my weight on the bottom. And then I'm gonna be using, this is a split shot weight. This is a size BB. I'm probably just gonna need one. Space it out just a little bit there. 
Oh, shoot. All right. Now, don't do this at home, but I'm just going to bite this with my teeth. And then I'm going to put on my hook. I've got a size 6. Um, these are super tiny, super lightweight. I'm really excited. I haven't fished with live bait in so long. It's kind of fun to switch it up. There's some water right here on to the right of me here and to the left of me over on this side. Um, and if I can't really catch anything in either of these spots, I will try somewhere new. I have my hook on there. Ow! Holy cannoli. Alright, so this is my rig. Bobber, little weight, and hook. And then we're going to hook a minnow on there. I'll show you guys how I do that. on something and it came off so I'm gonna try one more in this spot if I don't get any bites I'm gonna move to that one over there if no bites there then I'm gonna have to try the other side of the road which I really don't want to do but I might have to guys I decided to move to a different spot I feel like this water may be a little bit deeper it's definitely a lot longer and wider so I'm gonna give it a shot here these minnows are definitely holding up pretty good chilly and if usually when it starts out here there there will be more than one person out here yeah I saw, people. I saw quite a few the other day so I was hoping it'd be pretty good but um, but not I even a bite the weather's just been so weird I right. think it might have to be a little cooler out I don't know well then when it gets too cold then it's not it seems like the spring and fall is when 
Otherwise, you're gonna get chewed up and carried off by mosquitoes. Yeah. Well, uh, do you have your license handy? Um, I don't have it on me. Can you look it up? Do you have your ID? Yes. Just let's be careful getting across the street. Well, that was interesting. I don't know if you guys heard the beginning of that whole situation, but two uh, officers or wardens um, just stopped <laughs> and came over and they were asking for my fishing license. Apparently my uh, coastal fishing license does not cover this, this particular area. It's based on a map. So I was just outside of the jurisdiction of coastal waters, even though this is brackish salt water. Um, this particular area, like maybe just a few miles that way is the end of the line, which I had no idea. And luckily they were really nice and um, just gave me a written warning. But that's about all the excitement I've seen here today, guys. And I just, I just bought, um, my inland license so i'm covered so things are pretty slow out here except for that i don't understand how i haven't at least caught a bass or anything trying to uh, enjoy my freedom thank goodness I didn't get arrested and it's such a pretty day and the weather is not gonna be this nice tomorrow so I'm just soaking up the Sun I'll tune in with you guys if I get a bite it's about 3 o'clock right now so I really don't have that much time left to fish Right, guys I am back here on this little trail this water just kind of runs right along it so I'm gonna stop at a few spots just like this and uh, make a few casts along the way it's a little bit difficult to fish right here because um, the current is moving so fast because of the wind I think somebody else's bobber right there that got snagged. There are a lot of grassy weeds and sticks and things to get snagged on. And this is my only bobber. <laughs> At this point, I think if I lose my rig, I'm just gonna pack up and go home. All right, I'm gonna keep moving. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that all the way across. Uh, that's my bobber. And I just broke off. You got caught on one of those weeds and I tried to break it free and it just wouldn't happen. So my option right now is to either call it quits or go back to the car and just use a little weight and a hook. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I give up? Or keep going. My bobber is actually moving. I don't know if you guys can see that over there, but it's moving. I wonder if the minnow might swim over here. How crazy would that be if it swam back over here and I could grab it and put it back on? Move. I repeat, bobber is on the move. Look how creepy this is behind me. It's just like all these woods. And I keep hearing things, thinking it's a bear. There's no way I can reach it.
I don't think there's, I don't think my line is still on it. I give up guys, I give up. I am pretty positive that my minnow isn't even still attached to the bobber. <laughs> what a day, what a day of fishing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it on that note. Rumor has it that that bobber still floating to this day. Pretty good at floating directly in the middle of this thing. I'm gonna eventually get a fish for my tank, but today just was not that day, you know? It just wasn't meant to be. So, yeah, we'll see what happens from here on out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down below. I don't know, just um, comment something encouraging below.